Hey, good morning, everyone. <coughs> it's Ann Manera. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another live call along. Let's do a sound check. I think we're good. I've got some issues lately with my Facebook page, so I am hoping that this is going to work. I don't know what's happening. I had to contact Facebook, so I think I'm good. So let's see who's here this morning. Scarlett and Paisley, say hello. How is everyone this morning? Chris, can you hear me? How about you, Mamie? Let's see. I'm just finishing up. I'm just finishing up my favorite yogurt right now, so don't mind my... My dog, my, don't mind Scarlett begging here. All right, let's see if we can. It sounds good. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Chris. All right, let's say good. Let's say good morning to everyone. Good morning to Marianne. Marianne saying happy birthday to me. Thank you, Marianne. My birthday is actually Sunday, not today, but thank you. I don't make a big deal about my birthday, but I appreciate the birthday wishes. Uh, Chris, good morning, my friend. Who else is here? Alice is here. Good morning to Alice. Good morning to Mamie. Thank you, Mamie. Mamie saying happy birthday to me too. Thank you so much. Um, Jean Mellinger, I can hear you fine. Good morning. Good morning to Jean. I hear you, says Alice. We can hear Scarlett crying, right? Hey, if you can get this shared out to your Facebook page, or if somebody could share it out to uh, uh, the Just Color Coloring Group, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Uh, what's happening with my Facebook page is this. First of all, when I go to my Facebook page and I look at what we're doing, like what we're coloring on my desktop computer as we do this color along, my computer is not letting me, well, I don't know. It's not my computer. It's when I'm on Facebook. It's not letting me get the picture. It keeps moving. The screen keeps going up and down. You know when you scroll up and down? It's scrolling up and down all by itself. So it's really, I don't know what is happening. The other issue is that sometimes... When I go to my Facebook page um, for my coloring books, like we're on right now, um, I can't see it unless I go to it on my phone or on my iPad. So um, I've already contacted uh, Facebook help and they're actually uh, working on it. So it's weird. I don't know what is happening. Just another weird thing for us to deal with, right? So first of all, I want to say today that this is a cool color along because um, we are coloring two pages today, so get ready. If you need to go get a drink, go to the bathroom, grab a snack, maybe take a deep breath. Um, it's Now's the time. Because we're going to be coloring two pages today. One of them with the number two pencil. The other one with these awesome uh, Castle Art Seascape pencils, which I've never used them before because they were sent to me um, as a birthday gift. Let me go get Scarlett to stop crying. And then I have to show you something else that we're going to use. Let me go get Scarlet a biscuit. Hang on. Oh, what is she crying? You have both. Come here. That's it, girls. Thank you, Alice. I never make a big deal about my birthday. Do you? I never, ever make a big deal about my birthday. Is, are you saying hello to Marty Woods? Is he here today? Chris, is that who's here? Could it be Marty Woods, my friend? So, all right. So let's see what we're going to do today. We're going to do two pages. Um, we have a few crazy things to do, right? Last week, I had to cancel my color along because I wasn't feeling good. So I appreciate you bearing with me. Um... So we're going to catch up today, and we're going to uh, get this page colored, Complimentary Colors, and then this one, which I don't know what happened back a few weeks ago. We didn't get to this page. Um, this one right here. Going to use uh, just a number two pencil. He snuck in. Well, hey, Marty Woods. Say hello, my friend. Um... We're going to be using this page right here. So number two pencil for this one. So we're going to be doing both pages that will finish up uh, this book, this volume. The next thing that will happen is that next week on March 3rd, can you believe it's March, right? Uh, volume 18, this is going to be a fun book. If you've purchased this book, thank you. 
if you've purchased this book and you need me to send you the um color along the schedule for this book it will tell you uh what we are um coloring what the topic that day is and it'll also tell you the brand that i'm using a couple of people have been asking me to do that so i'm going to be doing that um, but also realize that as I'm, one of the reasons why I don't really like to kind of announce the brand is because sometimes I get such new, all these new, these new things come in. So this color along book, for example, 18 goes all the way to July 28th. And I do not have, uh, I didn't know I was going to ever have castle arts. Hey, Marty Woods. Um, I didn't know I was going to have castle arts pencils. I appreciate you being here, my friend. Um, did you all see Marty's awesome book, by the way? Marty, congratulations about that book. I haven't had a chance to chat with you about that, but uh, well done, my friend. Incredible. I can't wait to get a copy, actually. Um, absolutely beautiful. That's a huge undertaking. If you guys have not checked out Marty's book um, about how to draw flowers, what's the title, Marty? I'm not sure. I don't want to uh, tell everybody the wrong title, but... Um, I don't know what the, if you want to pop a link in the comments to Marty, feel free. Um, so anyway, so these, as I get more products and get new products, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I am going to contact these, uh, castle arts people and see if we can do a giveaway with them. Cause I think that would be a lot of fun. All right. So that's what's happening. So that, that's what happens with that. The other exciting thing, which I thought maybe she, I think she's going to pop in today, but I'm not sure. Um, is that, uh, let me see. Deborah Muller, our friend Deborah Muller, coloring book artist, right? Um, sent me the, she's making her own watercolor paint. So she sent me this kit and I don't think you can buy this kit with all of these, but there's a link over in the Just Color Coloring Group about these paints and where you can get them in her Etsy shop. And she's making them, they're called Mica and mica water mica colors and there's a huge description there good morning sandra uh drawing florals in five easy steps is marty's books go check that out available on amazon i believe good morning diana um so i'm gonna be using these cool paints look at these marty isn't this cool can believe she's making these what's cool is that they're in this little tin right it's similar if you have um this reminds me of a couple other different brands of color of watercolor paint in these little tins but what is cool I always like the details right um I always like the details she's got a little magnet underneath each one of them so they don't move I can't stand when my paint moves so I'm really excited about that so check these out um they're all kind of glittery so we're going to use these this I'm going to use these this morning for the background of the uh page we're going to work on with the just cut with the just the number two pencil so I thought that would be kind of fun uh, Marty Woods. Marty Woods has has a new book out on Amazon. Marty, you got to pop a link, my friend. Um, Marty is as humble as I am. Let me tell you. Um, doesn't like to make a big deal, but make a big deal. Shoot your horn, Marty. Um, so we're going to be, let's start out with this one first, with the, the number two pencil, because we're doing two, right? So we're going to be doing that. The other thing that we're going to do today is remember a couple of weeks ago when we did that color along and we called Angela Rodomi in Australia. Remember that? That was a wild day, right? That was a crazy and wild and crazy day. So we're going to call somebody else. I don't know who we're going to call. We're hoping that somebody else would be in another country that we could call. I don't know. Marty, if you'd like to chat with us, we can chat via Facebook Messenger, audio chat only. Um, so let me know if you want to be part of that. I tried to get Deborah Mella to be part of it today, but she was busy uh, working on a new book. So um, I had a, a deadline with her publisher, which is a good dead, a good problem to have, if you ask me. So um, I don't know. I don't have a publisher, so I guess I need to uh, to figure out how to get a publisher, right? Yeah, Sandra, definitely check it out. It's awesome. So, all right, so let's see. So just a number two pencil. So we're going to color the middle section here with a number two pencil, and then I'm going to take the background and use these watercolor paints because I thought it would be fun to show you what these watercolor paints are. Um, I used them the other day when I was working on a painting. Um, what, where is the... Well, let me see if I have it up here. I was working on a painting the other day. Do I have it? Oh, yes. I did this landscape painting the other day and, um, Hey, good morning, Lynn Miller. I did this landscape painting the other day and I used some of the gold 
uh, these last two goldish colors that are in here. I use them throughout this. You, I don't know if you can really, the camera's not really picking it up like it should, but it did kind of give it a little bit of a shimmer, which is really what I wanted. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. So get ready if you need to like, you know, crack your knuckles because we are coloring. Lynn suggested speed coloring. I don't know. What do you think about that? Speed. I think I'm going to have to do some like icing of my hands when I'm done with this, you know? So I'm going to color this center part with really a heavy pressure. Thank you, Sandra. It's available on my website as a print, by the way. Um, I have a new website called Ann Monera Paintings. It's just strictly for my paintings. And um, I haven't really uh, promoted too much about it lately. But I will be having a um, live painting sale from that site also um, over the coming weeks. I just need to... Uh, figure out the day and the time. There's been a lot going on lately, so my apologies if I've kind of been like a little MIA lately. Um, so I've got some other stuff happening, but everything's okay. Just kind of want to, I don't know. Life gets too busy sometimes, doesn't it? No speed coloring, Sandra says. Already can't keep up with you. Uh, so now I'm going to do just kind of a light pressure on this one. So if you've never colored with the number two pencil before, then what it's all about is just varying the pressure, varying um, maybe the strokes, and as you color different sections. So it's amazing what you can do with just a number two pencil. Um, Diana says, I need some new brushes. Going to try to use it all over today. Oh, I saw your message and I forgot to respond. I'm so sorry. All right. You know who had... Um, Shmira Farber makes a wonderful set of brushes... Um, I just bought a set of brushes on Jerry's that were called, thank you, Marty. I appreciate it. I've always joined your live color along and I appreciate it, Marty. Um, there's a set of brushes called creative expressions. Anybody else have any suggestions for paint brushes for Diana? Um, if you go to my, um, do you have the link? I actually have an uh, an Amazon influencer shop now. Um, Alice is asking, are you feeling any better? I am feeling a little bit better. Um, I don't know. Congested. It's been like a week of like, first of all, let's talk about the weather, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, yesterday it was like 65 degrees here. And tomorrow it's supposed to have snow. And it's freezing outside today. So, you know, you go from, like, I think it's just a lot of, like, clogged, I don't know, just a lot of clogged, clogged sinuses, congested. I think I had a headache for, like, a week and a half or something crazy, but, yeah, I'm okay. There's bigger fish to fry, Alice, you know? But thank you, I appreciate it. I'll have to send you a message, too. Um... Right, where was I? What were we talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, brushes. Does anybody have any suggestions for brushes? I have so many brushes. I must have hundreds of them. And I've got to say, every time I'm painting, I get so frustrated with all my brushes. So I'm not happy. With, apparently, I, it, it, I'm clearly not happy with any, any of the paint brushes I currently have. So I don't know. All right, so I'm going to do a heavier pressure here on this kind of like thing sticking out here this doodad thing and I'm calling from the middle out because a lot of times when you're using the number two pencil it will smudge the graphite will smudge and this is just a Dixon to con to con Roga, Roga you know for all of us pencil lovers um and now I'm just gonna eight to twelve oh why not Diana says I had the air conditioner on Monday and heaters on yesterday right I know, but what's cold for you, Diana? Don't, I mean, you, you're talking to people here in the Northeast that are going to say, uh, you know, cold to me is like, you know, single digits. Wind chill being single digits. I think it's like in the 20s here right now. I think we're supposed to get, I heard five to eight inches from my area, but I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes they don't know what they're talking about. The other day we were supposed to get a dusting and we got 10 inches of snow. So I don't know who is playing around with Mother Nature lately, but clearly a dusting is no longer 10. You know, it's going to be like one of those. 
I don't know, who has a different, a different interpretation of how many inches is how many inches, you know? Okay, so I've got that light pressure there, and then we can also kind of add some, uh, some dots with the pencil. So let's add a little bit of these dots here. I'll close it up for a minute. A little bit of these dots. So I popped a link to Deborah's uh, Etsy shop over in the Just Color Coloring group. Um, I was going to try to pop it here, but I can't. Oh, 32 degrees, Diana. That's a heat wave. Right, Alice? That is a heat wave. All right, now this section here, a little bit of a medium pressure here. So it's not as dark as this or as light as this medium. Medium there. And then of course the direction you're coloring in ink will also make a difference. And you can add some things to this to embellish it maybe. So let's see what we can do with um, with maybe this piece right here. Let's start out with a uh, heavy pressure at the tip and lighten up all the way down. Heavy pressure at the tip and lighten up as we go down. And again here, heavy pressure, lighten up. God gave us built-in brushes. They are called fingers. <laughs> there you go, right? Finger painting is always a lot of fun, isn't it? I think it is. So I popped a question over in the Just Color Coloring group, and I've got to say, a few art, other artists uh, have contacted me, and they were a little worried. I don't know what happened. I didn't mean to sound like I was, like, I don't know, falling apart, I guess, but um, I did pop a question over in the Just Color Coloring group asking, uh, talking about, or a post, talking about uh, why people are in the coloring groups, um... See, you can afford your fingers, right? In the middle, I do too. There you go. Hey, Rosie. Um, I popped this comment about, like, what's happening in the coloring community. No, it's like, I don't know what's happening. What is happening? I know the world is busy. I know people can't afford stuff because, hey, I'm right there with you. Stuff's expensive, right? And um, coloring book sales have, like, I think they're, like, I don't know. They're down. That's all I have to say. They are really down. So I'm not going anywhere, but I just wanted to like see what we can do. What else can the, like why are people still part of uh, my coloring group? Why are people still following me um, type question? That was all it was about. And I know a couple of other coloring book artists, they contacted me and um, you know, I just wanted to uh, kind of get a feel for what was happening with the group and uh, see what's going on. I mean, we've tried coloring challenges. They've kind of like, I don't know, not very much participation in the last couple, um, couple, two, maybe two or three. And then we've tried uh, daily challenges or daily things and zero participation in that. So just trying to figure out what else we can do um, to maintain partic participation. You know, a lot of people tell me that they visit the Just Color Coloring Group or they follow um, my coloring books or my, my Facebook page or watch these live videos, um, for many other reasons than even that has to do with coloring. So I guess, um, I kind of want to know like what is happening, which, what, what else type of, what other things should I do? What other creative endeavors, um, do we need to uh, offer? Should we offer, I've offered some classes, but then there wasn't that much. So I want to hear from all of you. I think that maybe if I create maybe some sort of a survey. Yeah, the price of everything has gone up. Isn't it insane? Absolutely insane. I just recently uh, switched to a different oil company for heat because of that, um, which was a big, big deal. Um, and yeah, it's amazing how much stuff is, right? You got to you gotta really uh, shop in a different way for food, uh, toilet paper, you know? What happened to toilet paper? The other night, shopping this pencil. This pencil is bugging me, by the way, because it is not, you know when the wood stays on the side? You may think I didn't have any more pencils except this. I think toilet paper was like, I don't know, some ridiculous amount of money. It had like tripled in price from what I usually pay for it on uh, at Walmart. And I was really surprised by that, so. 
Lynn says, I color every night. I don't post coloring pages because I post my paintings. I don't want to overload my pages. Oh, you know what? It even, it's not even about posting because I look at the, um, I do look at, you know what I look at on the group is I click on that. There's a section that I can click on that I can see the insights and I can see the activity um, from people. So not from individual people, but <clears throat> I don't really know who they are, but I do po I do look at that and I can see how many people have participated. So I can see how many comments there are. I popped a, a, a graphic the other day um, about that. So you can see how many people have, are active members of the group over the past week, 21 days. Um, and then it also gives me information about uh, comments, post reactions, but it also tells me um, if there's a decline or an increase. And it's like there's a 30% decline in the amount of people that are participating or um, the participation itself or reaction or or whatnot. So um, it's just interesting to me that even though people are not coloring anymore, what is bringing, in, bringing them to that group? Is it a safe haven? Um, so that's all, that's, that's all kind of like what was on my mind when I was uh, creating that post and trying to figure out what was going on. You know, I paint a lot. I have a couple of painting classes and my painting classes actually now um, are being offered on, offered on Mondays as individual classes. So if you take a look at my website on amanera.com and click on courses, you could actually sign up for individual classes and they're $15 each. So you don't have to like commit to the whole every Monday class. Fuel, oil, gasoline. Uh, paper goods and food is outrageous, Alice is saying. Yes, paper goods, outrageous. I um, It's funny because I um, toilet paper was really crazy. I ended up buying toilet paper at Walgreens a couple of weeks ago because it was the cheapest place, you know? Y you just have to... Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. So I get it, you know? Uh, coloring book prices went up, actually. Actually, not the price, but the, the royalty, the profit that are being made on coloring books. Publishing with Amazon, um, has the profit has gone down. So there were some books where I had to increase that price, you know? So I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that, but I tried. I fought it, you know, for a while to not do that. And then things are just not in stock sometimes, so... Anyway, the state of the world, right? Food too, yeah, food too. Hey, Jill, um, yeah, food is expensive too. You gotta, I stock up on my, on what I see on sale, and I also I never go out to eat, so I cook a lot. So, um, so if it's on sale, I grab it. You gotta grab the important stuff in life, you know, for food. Biscuits outrageously expensive. Pet food, yes. Lynn, don't even tell me you're still using that box of eighty. Are you serious? That box, by the way, is now $60. I don't even know how many of those boxes I went through. Do I have a problem? <laughs> Lynn's talking about this roll of 80 roll of, rolls of toilet paper, this box on Amazon, that her and I both purchased at the same time. i got to get another pencil. This pencil is bugging me. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let's see if we have another pencil, Scarlett. I'm not sure if we do. Oh, that's not Scarlett. That's Paisley. Paisley, you know what? I'm going to have to get another one. Yeah, pet food's hard to find. Very hard to find. Um, yeah, so Lynn's talking about this box. We bought 80 rolls for like $47, I think it was, on Amazon at the beginning of the pandemic. I cannot even tell you how much toilet paper I have gone through since then. I don't know. Maybe I have a problem, Lynn. Maybe something's wrong. Hey, Orange Escalator. How's it going, Alexandria? What is happening? So we're going to give someone a call. I don't know. Who should we call on Facebook Messenger? Raise your hand if you want to be on the chat with me as we're coloring this and using these uh, awesome, awesome, awesome watercolor paints. Look at these cool watercolor paints we're going to be using. Um, uh, these um, watercolor paints that are made by Deborah Muller. I live alone, Lynn is saying, and rarely let anyone into the house to use my toilet. 
That's good to hear, Lynn. I'm, so, I'm glad that you don't do that. Um, I had more than 20 rolls. I had more than 20 rolls in the house before I ordered the 80. So did I. But what is wrong with me, Lynn? Here in South Texas, uh, Diana is saying... I gotta go turn something off in my house. Hold on. We're having an avocado crisis because our main supply is cut off due to the cartels threatening inspectors. Oh my goodness, I did not know about anything like that. Snow day here. Oh, cool. We're gonna get snow on Friday, Alexandria. So maybe your storm is headed my way. Have to search high and low for dog food. Me too. Definitely have to set, search high and low. I need those paints. Hang on, I gotta turn something off. Hold on. I didn't realize that that TV in the other room, but sometimes it keeps like going on. So the link to these paints are in, um, are on the Just Call a Coloring group. It's in Deborah Muller's uh, Etsy shop. I don't, I think they're like $30 for like six of them or something. Not this whole tin. It's not the whole tin though. See how, see the set that I have? This is like, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's, 21 paint 21 colors in here um and uh it's not the whole thing just take a look at what's happening I, I don't know exactly all the details about like how many is in each set what you can get for it but that's all i have to say about those colors right all right so now i've got this heart right here and i'm thinking that i'm going to start with heavy 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 at the bottom heavy 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 at the bottom maybe lynn takes one square and folds it four times when she uses it i don't know lynn is that what's happening oh lynn is saying call me should we call lynn what do you think we got to get a, a consensus here lynn All right, so we've got all of that. Now, this outer portion right here, see this portion here? It's kind of like got this squiggly doodad thing here. I'm going to go over that by holding my pencil on its side. When I was a kid, there was this woman that was friends with my mom. And she used to tell her sons that they could only use three squares of toilet paper. And we were all so horrified by it as kids. Like, she limited it. Yes, call Lynn. All right, so Lynn's going to call me on Facebook. Call me on Facebook Messenger, Lynn. i got to find my phone. Hold on a second. Let's see. I don't know if my phone is off. Hold on. Let me turn it on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call Miss Lynn. Lynn, I'm going to call you. Um... Let's see. We're calling her. Am I, I can hear you, but not that much. Uh, now I can. I, I don't get can everybody? Can anybody hear her? I've got, you've got to turn, you've got to turn the volume off on your video. But we're connecting with Lynn. Hey, D Sergeant. She hung up on me. I don't know why. Maybe she went to go get some toilet paper. I don't know. The quality of the call. Well, I don't even know if I can tell you about the quality of the call. Let's see if it works again. We thought maybe you went to go get some toilet paper. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but I can also hear myself, and you know how I hate my voice, so you got to turn down the volume on the video. Um, yeah, I, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. We have officially completed our Verizon commercial. I don't know what that noise is. Can, you can hear her, but you can only hear her faintly, Chris. How about now? 
faintly. Even Marty Woods can't really hear you. Well, I answered this time on my phone. Let me see if I can do something else here. Hold on. Okay, right. maybe now. How about now? Now, can you hear me? Maybe you should say, can you hear yes. her? Testing, testing. Test, test. Much better now. Marty says it's much better now. We want to talk oh, to Marty. Good. I want to talk to Marty Woods. Marty, we need to do a, a, a chat one day, huh? Better now. All right, awesome. Okay, so now we're moving on. I'm moving on to these paints, Lynn. Okay. You painted. We were, we were painting together when I used these the other day, though, I thought. And your picture was amazing. Yes. The, oh, thank you. Although the one that we did yesterday was pretty cool. Oh, that's fun. That was a lot of fun. And I sold my little bird painting. Remember the little bird painting, Miss Bur oh. little Miss Bird? Yes. Yep. Oh. I sold it yesterday. Oh. I was so excited. All right. So I'm going to add, since this is a heart page, I'm going to go with this pink color, this reddish color right here. Look at that. Ooh, a shimmer right there. I, I never know what to do with the background of those pages. Well, I like to just kind of, I mean, you could really just kind of leave it all one color. Let's just leave it all one color. Since we're like, you know, speed painting today. Oh, that's a pretty color. Isn't it beautiful? It's a nice raspberry color. This is, looks like something I would want to eat. D says, are you, not the paint, but this, or something this color. Good morning, Mary. D says, are, Ann, are you getting snow Friday? We could get more than a foot. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Where are you, D? Are you in New Hampshire or are you in, closer to Boston? I don't know if she's in, I know you're in New England, but, yeah, we're supposed to get, well, according to Alexa, my friend, we're going to oh, get 2.2 inches, but I don't think she knows what she's talking about, because according to the weather here, we're going to get 5 to 8. Oh my goodness. We we may get one. Well, it's supposed to start at like midnight uh tonight. Today's Thursday, right? Yeah, midnight tonight. And then it's going to continue all the way like for 24 hours. So, I mean, well, I'm not coming to Rhode Island this weekend. <laughs> no, it's going to be too busy. New Hampshire. <laughs> These in New Hampshire. Birthday weekend. Yeah, my birthday is on Sunday. Marianne had wished me a happy... Few people said happy birthday. I don't make a big deal about my birthday, Lynn, but... I know. It's, I mean, I don't really want to age. How about you? Me? Yeah, like, do you... I mean, I don't want to keep getting old. Well, yeah, but think of the, um... You know... The alternative? <laughs> That's true. Eight to 14 inches in New Hampshire. Yeah, that's too much uh, snow for me. We won't be coming to New Hampshire. Where's, where's Sharon? She should be... Sharon uh, is... Uh, Sharon is busy. She had something. She had an, uh, an emergency. I don't know oh. if she wants me to talk about it, but I can... Oh. If you want to send her a message and ask her, why weren't you there, maybe she'll tell you. But I don't want to announce it. Okay. You know, too many people watching, too many ears. I don't know what happened. Okay. There's a slight a little emergency. Um, no, but she hates the S word. Wow. That's, I know, the S word. We can talk about all we want about the snow because Sharon's not here. Hey, thank you, D. She's going to be like, when she watches this, she's going to say, she's going to laugh. Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. Ugh. Like, I really need to hear that. She actually sent me a really, really pretty birthday gift. Why don't, I, I should show it. Want me to show it? She. Yeah. Um, all right, let me go get it. Diana says, gotta love my 32 degrees. I couldn't function in that snow. I'm going to send you some snowballs, Diana. How about that? Oh, 32. Is that it's 33 in New Jersey now. That's a heat wave. It was 65 yesterday. I know. It was 65 degrees here, too. This is what Sharon sent me. I wish it was here that I was showing this, but it's a diamond painting that she did for me. It says, God says you are... Unique, special, loved, but I don't know what these last three things say. We can't see it. Now you uh, can. There's a delay. Love, oh. I don't know what that says. Oh. Oh. Huh. I can't figure it out. I may have to do some research. Clean? I don't know. 
clean? I, don't. I hope. <laughs> Do you ever see those time those things where people um talk about um like cleanliness? I, I don't know. But how often they clean? How often they clean the house? Like how often you should clean? Are you into diamond painting? Do you, you know, I have several of my paintings available on my website as diamond paintings. Um, I'm not really crazy about it, to be honest with you. It's just too, like, I think it's too monotonous. Hey, Donna. What an awesome friend. Yeah, Sharon and I have become really, really good friends, to be honest with you. Um, like, in, like, really good friends in real life. So um, that was very nice of her. Beautiful. Yeah, very pretty. So that was nice of her to do that. It was delivered yesterday. Wow. Yep. So. Yeah. And Lynn who we're talking to now, sent me these cool pencils. So nice of you, Lynn. Lynn sent me these as a birthday gift, so that was really cool. Another great friend. Um, no other birthday gifts, Lynn. Just you and Sharon. That was it. Oh, I'm sure your mother will get you something. Oh, no, she already actually got me something. She just told me to just order something for myself. So, <laughs> But I don't know about these dogs. They have not done their shopping yet. Uh-oh. Yeah. I don't know. So this paint is really like uh, is thick. It reminds me of, um, I don't know, it's just like thick. As a, You can really have an opaqueness with it. So although they're watercolors, the more you really, like the more I'm really kind of like delving deep into this like uh, section of this purple, and it has a lot of glitter. It's very cool. They're very shimmery. I like the blues. Oh, the blues are pretty, aren't they? Especially this one right here. This one is very shimmery, and the more you... I don't know how you make these, but she makes them. Yeah, I can't handle the... My eyes are bothered too much by the uh, diamond paintings, too, Diana. But, D, if you go to my website, amanera.com, you can click on diamond paintings, um, and you can see them. So I'm going to put a little bit of more water in this blue. Look at that blue. Wow, it's very Caribbean, isn't it? And let's see if we add it on top of the number two pencil, what happens? Oh, not bad. I thought it would kind of be muddy, but it's doing good. It's not changing the color. Not bad. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? So Lynn, what are you doing today? Anything exciting? I mean, besides this, of course. Besides this? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I may work on mom's estate. Um, I may paint. I, I need to catch up on painting. I'm so far behind. I know, but don't you hate when that happens? I always think that when I have to catch up on something, that it's kind of like not meant to be. Like that I just yeah. need to start where I am. You know? I I need to hem two pair of pants. Ooh, I need to hem a whole bunch of pairs of pants. I need to yeah. break out the sewing machine. Oh. Yeah. I'm not doing it by hand. Oh, uh, really? To, no, I can't sew by hand. It's, it's a miracle that I can sew at all. All right, I'm moving on to my next page with my castle seascapes. Chris says, I didn't know they had seascapes. They have a whole series of these. And if you actually go to, I wish I could get a link on here to my Amazon um, influencer page because I have all the links there to the castle pencils too. Um, I don't know if I can. No, I can't. I can't. It won't let me do it. My Facebook, my Facebook page is still having trouble. Um, what's cool about this, too, is do you see the tutorial that's in here, Lynn? Yeah, I can do it. You, di you didn't do it? I wouldn't do it on this paper, though. No. Yeah. Um, this is really cool. It has this little seascape tutorial here to learn how to uh, draw and color. I mean, we kind of think about colored pencils only to color with, but really we could treat them like they're paint and create some something that, as we would with paint. Wouldn't that be interesting? But look, there's a whole se whole series of them, Chris. So it's Seascapes. This is a Seascapes one. But I've got to tell you, I really am interested in the Botanical one now and the Kandinsky one because Kandinsky um, probably has a lot of bright colors because it's all brightness. Do you have any other ones, Lynn? 
No, no. But I thought about the Van Gogh because I thought that may have more blues. I think I should contact him and ask him to send me all of them. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm just going to ask them. I would like a set of all of them, please. I'm just going to ask. I don't know. It doesn't hurt to ask, right? And when I asked, our, when I asked um, Arteza to send me something, they told me no because I didn't have 10,000 followers. So they're lucky that I buy their paint and use it. Well, and complain about it. <laughs> and complain, don't I? I complain about it. I love it, but I complain about it. I love Arteza paint, you guys, but every time we, we're painting, Lynn knows this. All right, I'm going to put this back, and I'm going to move on to slop with complementary colors, which means colors that are created from primary. Well, they kind of, well, not necessarily that, but they complement one another's, but a lot of them are secondary colors. So for example, blue and orange complement each other, or really blue and brown or pink and brown could complement each other. So it's colors that look good together. There's no rules, in my opinion, because what you think looks good, maybe you like to, like what colors do you think look good together, Lynn? Anything? Pink is purple. All right, let's go with pink and purple right now. So this is a really cool set. So I love this purple right here. This doesn't have any pink in it, does it? It has mm -hmm. this one oh, called. But it has the pretty lavender one. This oh. lavender one is called mauve. All right, I'm gonna sharpen it though. I don't like. I don't like like the factory sharpened. Okay. I don't know if I'm missing comments or not. I have to do a refresh here. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work now. Is it? I don't like, like the factory sharpened. That was my... With these pencils, I have to sharpen them often, but maybe I have a hard... I have um, a, a heavy grip? Yeah. Maybe. maybe. All right, I'm going to do these uh, tulips in this lavender which is actually called mauve i don't think of mauve as being this color does anybody else i mean i kind of think of mauve as being more of on um, towards the pink they have a good point though when you do shop in them i like that it's not like it doesn't feel like it's gonna hurt like break or anything all right so here's this one this one is called alizarum crimson I think Marianne had said that she has these. Where is Marianne? I don't know. No one's coming. Castle Art Seascapes pencils on sale today for 33% off, Sandra's telling us. Oh, that is an awesome deal. And if you buy them through my Amazon affiliate link and in, in influencer link, I make a small percentage, but you could buy them through that. I wish we could find a way to put that link. It's, can you find a way to put that link, Sandra? I think it's because I'm not signed into Amazon on this computer that I'm using. Wait, so if we go through your page, we have to go to adminera.com and then... No, you can just go... Let me see if I can find it. I think I have to sign into Amazon right now. Let me see. Um, enter my... Oh, I thought it wanted my phone number. What the heck? We want your password. <laughs> I don't even know my password. I'm going to have to get up to go get it. <laughs> How about that? I think I know it. Let's see if I can remember it. Oh, I did. I don't believe it. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, it even gives me a thing to share it. Wow. Share a link for social media. I don't believe it. Well, how's this going to help me? You know what? I'm going to send you the message with the link. Okay. And then you can put it in the comments. Okay. We're high tech here, you know. I need that link. I buy everything from Amazon. Thank you, Diana. I know. I buy everything from Amazon, too. What's the weirdest thing you've ever purchased from Amazon? It didn't work. It didn't? No, all I got was, was Amazon took me to my page. 
Isn't that weird that it took you to your page? How? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe it just wants to deliver to me. Uh, what if I search for you on Amazon? No, I, I think I figured out a way to do it. You can't search. I don't know why. All right, let's see if this works. Nope. That did not work. Control Z, my favorite command. Short link. I don't know what the heck is going on. Wait a minute, let me switch to the other computer. Hold on. This is important. It's very important, right? Yeah, this is important. Um, oh, wait a minute. It's actually easier than I made it, easier than I made it to be. Um, come on, Mr. Computer. Wow, my speaker's so much better on this computer. All right. Okay, it's on there. I popped the link, I saved it, I bookmarked it. So bookmark it. <laughs> I clicked on the link and it did not. Okay, there it is. It is Amazon.com slash shop slash Ann Manera's Coloring Books for All. So it basically links to my Facebook page. That's why it's called that. Um, so that's the influencer account. So if you want to um, bookmark that like I have on my... I, the computer I'm using right now is a computer I only use for uh, live videos. It's not my main computer. So it basically takes you to that link on my Amazon influencer page. And there's all types of lists in there that are clumped in there. Now, when you shop through that link, it will, even if you bought toilet paper, for example, um, I, I'll still earn a, a small percentage, but that's what happens with that. So you could even buy, I don't know, a plunger if you needed to. Is it working? Did anyone else get it to work? Yes, yes, it worked. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like when you have like an Amazon Smile account where you get like a donation type, but I'm not getting a donation. It's just, you know, doing its thing. Yeah, I wonder what the looks like. You wonder what the what looks like? Oh, the Van Gogh, the, um, how to draw the Van Gogh is Starry Night. Oh, I'm definitely going to contact them. Okay, I'm going to buy this. Because, you know, of course I need it. Well, of course, right? So what's the strangest thing? Thank you, Diana. What's the strangest thing you think you've ever purchased on Amazon? Anybody? The weirdest thing. It's like, oh, yeah, Amazon has that. They do have everything. So many weird things. Don't they? <laughs> weird things, right? My latest purchase, which I'm really excited about, but I'm kind of waiting for, it's really like too really freezing cold and windy here um, outside today to do it. But I think that um, my latest crazy purchase, which I'm really happy with, are those lights that I showed you. Oh, d did you see the link I put in there though, Sandra? I actually popped the link. Okay, I ordered the, the so let's see if you get <laughs> Chris's comment. Look at Chris's comment. Hey, Carol, look at Chris's comment that says that she ordered the oddest, the weirdest thing she ever ordered was a pill pusher for Miley, her cat. But why did I think that it was like a, um, not, I understand what you're talking about, something to give her a pill, but I was like, I thought you were ordering her like someone to like, you know, like a drug dealer from my. <laughs> That's what I took that as. Liquid syringes also from Miley. Yeah, I order a lot of dog things. But my, my solo lights are my latest uh, crazy purchase. So I'm hoping that um, I can get them up high, en high enough when I hang them rather than having to worry that I have to ask somebody to climb up on a ladder for me. I don't want to have to do that. Mm -hmm. then, then they're not going to do it right. 
you know, you know, they're going to well, just put it where you can, um, change the batteries or whatever. No, it's solar. I don't have to do anything. Never. Okay. Yeah. So I have to test it out though again mm -hmm. and see like how it does before I start ordering more. Because, I mean, I don't want to, like, place an order for, like, you know, like, 50 of these things. I bought color-changing foundation for my face. Why? Why would it change, uh, Diana? I'm adding a little bit of uh, a yellow to the tips of this these blades of grass. Why would the color of, your, of this makeup change? That's interesting. thinking green why did green come to mind i'm um, so i'm using all of these greens to complement each other down here and i'm going to kind of do a light one i don't know why i'm coloring from the bottom up but i feel like it's like growing i buy makeup on uh, amazon all the time i think the more you shop for the same product that the more they uh offer you a better price what do you think lynn well, I get a lot of things subscribed and saved, so I get my eyeliner and mascara, <laughs> like, every month. Yeah. Well, you know, I was doing that, but every time I would subscribe and save to something, like, the other day, I got a message that the dog food that I was subscribing to did, was out of stock. Because, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not their main dog. I've been giving them, um, they eat dry dog food, but I've been giving them this powdered de dehydrated dog food by this company called honest kitchen and you add water to it and it um hydrates itself it used to come in these little cups that reminded me of ramen noodles mm -hmm. but it's out of stock now so luckily i have enough it's supposed to adjust your face color diana is saying bull crap it's white and just goes on as moisturizer Oh, I've seen those before. How about that commercial where that lady does it where she puts on that one thing and she they use it as like lipstick, foundation, blush. You know, did you ever see that? And all of a sudden she just looks like a supermodel. Who, who are they kidding? That is not going to work. I knew that once. I went to a conference <laughs> and I got my makeup. This was years ago when I wore makeup. And all I had was a lipstick. Yeah, so you put it on your face? I did. And I it was... contoured and, well, yeah. And then during the break, I, I walked to the grocery store. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me that you sat by the fire and it started melting. <laughs> no. <laughs> did you ever see that Frasier episode where the father colors his hair? And oh. yes, he decides to dye his hair because he thinks he's an old geezer because he's getting geezer mail. I think he turned oh. 65 maybe. And he said that now he was starting to get geezer mail. So now he colors his hair and it's like this dark gray, I guess. And um, he goes to Frazier's or Niles' apartment, I think, because they were having some sort of party. And he's sitting on this white chair right by the fireplace talking to this woman who he thinks his, he's flirting with, I guess. And all of a sudden, he goes to get up, and the hair dye had melted off his hair onto the back of the chair. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And it was dripping down his face. Oh, kind of the Rudy Giuliani look. Yes, that's right, the Rudy Giuliani look. Oh, my goodness, that's right, I forgot about that. It was just like that, actually. He was definitely Martin Crane. Uh, let's see. Alice is saying, I don't wear makeup, maybe a little bit lipstick. I always wear makeup because I feel like it, it's like a skin protector. I can't stand it without it. Um, what is the other comment? I still can't remember why I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> Diana, maybe you, you, you were, you were um, fooled and tricked by, the, by the, the commercial or the advertising for it. You know? Makeup can be expensive, though. Yeah. In a regular, like, the makeup that I always buy is, like, seventeen ninety nine in Walgreens. But on Amazon, it was $5. So, I'm no fool. Why am I paying all that money? Yeah. I mean, CVS makeup is expensive. Oh, yeah, CVS is outrageously expensive. I don't know. 
Sometimes I do a CVS order online, though, with my coupons. Like, I need to do one just for a few different things that I only buy at CVS, but I don't like to even go into CVS. CVS, since the pandemic, used the one near me anyway, uses... I don't know what they're spraying their store with, but whoever is spraying it with Lysol or some sort of disinfectant um, is a little, like, trigger-happy with the spray because I walked in there one day, I thought I was having an asthma attack, and I don't, and I don't even have asthma, so it was pretty bad. Well, I get great coupons from CBS. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I saved $50 yesterday. See that? I know, I have a 30% off coupon. My shopping cart online is filled mm -hmm. with that coupon. Isn't it great? Do you think that you just keep shopping just to save, to see what you can save? Well, I also go into CVS with my mask on just to get steps. So I walk down, up and down every aisle. Oh, well, there you go. I, you do, know, I do that in my own house with, my, with the stairs. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Yesterday, I felt like I had a lot of steps. Yesterday was a crazy day. I was exhausted by the end of the day. Let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Those dogs knocked me out yesterday. My niece was here yesterday with her dogs. Whew. They were, they were all very good, but I was tired from all of them. I don't even, I think they left around four. I was beat. And poor Scarlett and Paisley were very, very tired. Oh, it's daycare. <laughs> mm. We did a lot of things. We had, they ate, ate a bowl of food. I cut everybody's nails. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. You should have let them paint. Mm, I know, we thought about it. They played outside, we played fetch, came back in, had biscuits. I don't know. I st oh, Carol's saying, I ordered a felty kit to make a bunny, so we'll let you know how that goes once I get it and work on it. Oh, I can't wait to see it. You know what I did see, speaking of felting, is um, at the dollar store, they had these bunnies for Easter, and they, to me, all I could think of was they were naked. Naked bunnies. I don't know why, but they were naked. But And they had really no fur. It was just like a stand-up bunny, and he was just made of felt. And I thought, this would be a great, like three-dimensional object to actually do needle felting on. So, I don't know. You're not into needle felting, huh, Lynn? Uh, no, because you know what? I, I bought diamond paint when, you know, all of you were into that. Mm -hmm. Couldn't I do it. Keep, so, you know, I have so many crafts that I bought on a whim and never used, so I decided not to. Try That's a good idea. I'm hooked on needle felting. I don't know what happened to me. I did two of them last week. Did I show you guys the two I did last week? These actually, one of them is actually as a class. I'm, there is another class that's happening. This is not. This is a painting. This one. This was from one of my um, illustrations that was in my coloring book sketched. You can't see it yet, right? Probably right. not. Can't see it yet because of the delay. There it is. Um, this one right here, it's a bowl of fruit. It's got the glare because it's in a frame. But this was from my illustration from my coloring book uh, sketch. So there was a grayscale illustration, and then I took the actual drawing, um, transferred it to this with a, a pen you could iron on, and then I needle felted this. This is going to be a uh, on-demand video tutorial. And then I did this one from one of my paintings. Um, I did these last week, I think. This one's available as a needle felting class on my paintings website, actually. The abstract, the tree landscape. Did you see this one, Sandra? I know Sandra was interested. Thank you, Chris. These are a lot of fun, actually. These, uh, the needle felting. But I don't know. I think I like gouache and needle felting the best so far. For some reason, I just can't get away from gouache. Maybe I like how you say it. Think, maybe, think it's the name? I think it's the name. I think it is, right? It could be. It's like food that you eat that is a good color. That's what happens to me. Do you have food that you eat because you like the color? Uh... So, Sandra, the tree landscape one is on my paintings website right now. I could get a link to that, I guess, right? 
Oh no, it's doing a crazy thing on my computer again. I don't know, I can't do it. And then um it's on it's on annmanerapaintings.com. It's my new website. And the bowl of fruit one will be on there, I would say by next week. I have to edit the video, so um, I just didn't have a chance. I was working on a, um, I thought I was going to be able to do it, but I was working on a website for a website client. So if anyone's interested in a website, by the way, let me know or spread the word. That tutoring website I just finished was is finally done. I think I have one thing to add and it's totally complete. There it is. Um, if you go to annmaneraspaintings.com um, and click on courses or classes, I think it says classes, then you can um, take a look at that tree landscape one. Is the lead in those pencils hard or soft? Oh, it's very soft. Very soft, Alice. Very soft. So, Lynn, I was going to tell you that when I went to go pick up these pencils at my post office box, they had a piece of paper in the box, which I hate when they do that, because then I have to actually go stand in line and be amongst the people. Oh. I know. So they had a piece of paper in it, so I had to go get in line. The place was packed, and I would say there was only me and one other person that had a mask on, including the employees. But... Okay. The rest of the people did not, and they were, one lady was looking at me like I was like, I don't know, like something was wrong with me because I was wearing a mask, but I don't know. Because you're smart, and they're not, and... Yeah, I don't want your germs. You don't know how people are going to smell. Right. Right? I mean, you know, and it's flu season, too. I it's mean, everything season, right? Like, right. I mean... Then we're going to have spring. It's going to be allergies and pollen. And it's yeah. going to be interesting. Spring is going to be interesting in my neighborhood because they are going to ban. They're trying, and I think it's going to pass. They're trying to ban uh, gas-powered leaf blowers and then ban leaf blowers in complete, like completely in the city I'm in. Alice, I do not know what's going to happen to leaf blower man. I expect, I'm actually looking forward to see what's going to happen. Not that I'm kind of a mean person, but I'm expecting that he's going to be, he's either, he's just going to do it. He's going to do it. Yep. He's just going to say, I'm just doing it. He didn't know. He what? Do you, do you think he reads the news? I think he doesn't care about the news is what I think. I have, right. next time I see him with his leaf, I was thinking of telling him, but I know he's going to go on a rant about it. Right. He's going to start swearing, and I don't feel like getting into that type of conversation with anybody. You don't need to be the bearer of news. No, he can read the news. I'm glad that they're going to do it. I think it is a little excessive. I mean, there's some times where it's like, that's all you hear from in my neighborhood, from like Friday night to Sunday night mm -hmm. for the whole weekend. He'll have a meltdown or move. No, he'll just completely do it, Chris. He won't even care. You know, I mean, he's like the person that shovels into the street for the snow anyway. Hey, Sheila. Yeah, the mask mandate is lifted here too, Alice. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, he won't care. But then there's this other thing that's been happening in my neighborhood where they're trying to chop up this, this they're building a house where there's a whole bunch of ledge, like a mountain of rock. So for months, and I mean months, Lynn, I think it's going on a year. They have been out there with like heavy equipment with a jackhammer at the end of like a backhoe, digging up, like chipping away at this rock. Ooh. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. I, sometimes I can feel the vibration in my chair. Today, do, they, uh, do I think they what? You think they're using dynamite? They should use dynamite because I don't know how much time they have. Okay, the hour's up, and now I have two unfinished pages, and you want speed coloring, Diana's saying, I think not. Have a great day, everyone. Stay warm, and I will always stay masked forevermore. No joke, you ladies are smart. Good. He's going to take a blow dryer and a lead coat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? All right, I'm going to make this little guy orange. A sloth, because they're not real. 
on this page anyway, just with this color and just finish up this page. So we won't keep people, right? Did you see the commercial with the slot at the cash register? No. What is it for? Oh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't really watch regular TV. So I don't get to watch watch commercials. I'll see if I can find. I don't either, but, uh, you know, it comes on sometimes. Did you watch, um, what do you call it? Uh, Brid um, not Bridgerton. The Gilded Age? Yes. I didn't watch it yet, so don't 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 reveal it to me. Is anybody else watching The Gilded Age? You know what show I'm hooked on, which I'm really surprised every time I watch it that I say, what am I hooked on this show for? Love is Blind on Netflix. But it's in the top ten. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, have you watched it? No. Oh, Should I? I don't know. Lynn, it's, my, it's the second season right now. I watched the first season. I was hooked. Now I'm watching the second season, and last night was a cliffhanger, and it said the next episode is uh, tomorrow night. And I cannot even believe it. I watched Chicago Fire last night. Oh, I haven't seen that. The big A. But they didn't call it the Big A. Um, uh, Jean is saying that the commercial is for credit cards. Oh. Have to watch this week's episode today. Yeah, I have to watch this week's episode. Tonight. I think I'm going to watch it tonight for the Gilded Age. I've also been watching this other show on Amazon Prime called The Village, which is kind of a period drama type thing. I don't, I don't know. Derek, what is Derek? I don't know about Derek. Have you seen The Village, Carol? And I was going to watch this other show called The Cook of... Begins with a C, but I don't remember what it's called now. Not Casanova. Maybe Carol knows what I'm talking about. Afterlife with Ricky Gervais is excellent, too. I think I did see that. Thank you, Diana. All right, I'm just going to do my background with this kind of blue color, which is called Ultramarine Violet, which is always an excellent blue. But I'm going to go on the edge, like on a slant, just to kind of give it a little bit of blue. Blue skies, although blue skies are not very common here lately. Usually the sky's white. Mrs. Maisel is back. Oh, I saw the first episode. She bugs me sometimes, though. Does she bug you? Uh, I think I know her. I mean, in real life, you think you know her? No, not in real life, but, you know, I mean, I know people like her. Oh, okay. So, well, it would be interesting if you actually knew her. No, I don't think she's a real person. No, I mean the one, the person who's playing the role oh no i don't know her oh no. okay yeah she's um she's a lot she's extra don't you think she's a little extra yeah yeah I, but so friends. so is what so are her parents oh yeah but i do like the father but i will i've always liked him in monk or in um well remember when he was in taxi Remembering what? Oh, really? Carol says, "What is the storyline of the village?" Because I did watch one by that weird guy, and yes, the story was weird. It is a. I'm having a hard time following it, to be honest with you, Carol, because um, it's a story of this couple, and they have a farm, and I guess the guy's kind of like a bit of a drunk, and uh, the son goes off. He's really abusive to his wife, and they basically kind of fall on hard times, and then he. Um, one of the sons goes off to war, and then they start taking the guy's uh, livestock, I guess. But it kind of, like, detours into, like, another side of the, like, the working families and then, like, the elite people, you know? And I'm, there's, like, no merge of the two. It's very, something's missing. I don't know what it is. I'm very confused. Every time I watch, the, watch an episode, I think, did I fall asleep at the last one? Because, really, I am lost. <laughs> And it turns out I didn't. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe my comprehension skills a lot are, are declining, Lynn. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you may like Inventing Anna. Oh, I definitely am going to watch that. But I have to, like, brace myself. Yeah. 
I, I hear that that one is really good, but it's like, oh no. Thank you, Diana. So I'm thinking, so complimentary colors, hey, they work for everything, right? All right, so we finished two pages today. We're chatting with Lynn. We took a look at Deb's uh, uh, paints. Go check out her Etsy shop for that. Go check out Marty Wood's book. He was here today. I don't know if he's still here or not. Um, the page that I did today, or the pages that I did today, can also be found in Heartman Dollars Coloring Book, which is my book, um, and Sloth Mania, which is the other book, the, the page we just did. We just did the page from the cover, actually. And then this we, this is the book for Volume 18. Hey, Mary. Um, thank you. The... Um, Color Along Volume 18 book is on Amazon. It's also available on my website as a PDF printable book. And this starts next week. So um, the first Color Along we're going to be working on for next week is with Black Widow Monarch Pencils. I've announced the names, the brands. Um, this is such, like, structure to me. I don't know. It's a lot of structure, Lynn. I don't know if I can handle it. I usually like, you know, a spontaneous thing, believe it or not. Does that surprise you about me? It's done. We're finished with volume 17. So how many color alongs? 17 times 22? Oh how many color alongs have I done? I gotta at least make it to volume 20, right? Yes. At least. Before I reassess. I don't know. I thought I'd be driving my black Mercedes by now, but it's not happening. So <laughs> after all these color alongs, I don't know. All right, so we've got Black Widow Monarchs, which are happening on March 3rd, okay? And then the next one, so that's next week. This is from Paisley's Bubbles, so we'll see if Paisley can be a little more peppy next week. And then uh, Grayscale with Color Pencils takes us to the second week in March, and I'll be using Koi Noir uh, Woodless Colored Pencils. Now, just because I'm using that brand doesn't make a difference. You can use whatever brand you want, but people want to know so they can dig out the stuff. Then we've got this one, which is Monochromatic is the topic. On the 17th, Fabus Castell Grips, the grip markers. And then Amaze Rock pencils, which I have watercolor pencils for these, so that's why it's Amaze Rock. They're in a little, like, um, like a rollout kit. I've used them several times before. And then the last weekend in March is just a number two pencil. I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't specify, like, you know, Ticonderoga or whatever, Jot or something. So that's what's happening in March. I don't want to bore you with like the whole book of every single page, but we've got a lot of different topics happening um, for this book. So I'm excited about this one. A lot of different, um, one of them that I've never done is transfer a coloring page. Um, and we're going in order of these. So as you flip through the book, you'll see them that they're actually in order. I don't put dates in the book though, because if I ever wanted to kind of like repurpose them, you know, then I wouldn't have to worry about the dates. Um, what do you think, Lynn? What's your favorite? Um, woodless color pencil. Really? How about anybody else? I like, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to burnishing. And I actually, I don't know what I'm using for burnishing. But let's see what I'm using for burnishing. Um, I don't even know what I'm using. Surprise. Oh, burnishing is Marco Rafine, which is good because, oh, Chris got it too. All right, awesome. All right, so any questions about today or what's happening with this book? So um, this book goes all, volume 18 moves, goes all the way until July 28th. Mary Ann's is monochromatic. I like monochromatic too because it's always interesting what you can do with just one color. Yes. And number two pencil always makes me it surprises me too but then again sepia does too how can you pick <laughs> well, just a blue pen is fun. oh just a blue pen is fun that's true it's so hard to pick you know i don't know what we're going to transfer a coloring page to we'll have to figure something out It'd be cool to transfer it to a wall <laughs> Chuck Pastels is Sandra's favorite. Let's transfer it to a wall. You have an empty wall in your house. My wall's not good to paint to do something on because the, the house is too old. So the walls are kind of pitted. Diana is number two pencil. That's always a surprise, isn't it? It's like, wow, I did that with just a new number two pencil. But it really makes you think, um, wow, I don't have to, um, I don't have to do anything except um, bring my pencil. 
Mm -hmm. Right? My phone is buzzing. I don't know why it's buzzing. Somebody must be sending me a message. All right. So let's uh, wrap up. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Do you have any more cubism? I did not do that cubism. Yes, I need to paint all my walls. Well, I do too, Diana. If you want to, if you get tired, get bored, come on over. I have a couple of rooms that could use a painter, a new paint job. All right. I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much, Lynn. Okay, anytime. All right, let's say goodbye to Lynn. Bye, Lynn. Bye. All right, so Lynn is Lynn is off the line. And all right. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you have a safe day. Stay warm, especially Diana, who's freezing in 32 degrees. I'll think of you when it's like 10. We've got to get some snowballs ready for her. And uh, I'll see everyone next week. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.